Astral Cast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. On this episode, we're going to talk about how I went to a toy show and found a lot of really cool things. Some people have to work, you know. And some people like to go out on Saturdays and have a good time and not waste all their time working, Heather. Somebody has to pay for all these Funko Pops. So I went up to Timonia, Maryland, Heather, to the fairgrounds to go to the toy show this weekend. And they had a lot of stuff there. They had new toys, vintage toys. They were even selling, like, um, uh, reenactment, like, clothing and stuff there. Like, a hmm. lot of bizarre stuff like that. Um, Interesting. But there was only a few tables selling, like, newer stuff. Like, I did find maybe, like, four or five tables that had Funko Pops. Not a whole lot. Somebody was selling an Aquaman Dorbs for $20. It was what? A, it was a chase. After seeing that, I thought, I have no chance today. I'm not going to find anything here today. But, as I walked around, I found this table. And it was a guy sitting there, and I go to this toy show every year. Sometimes when they have it, like twice a year I'll go. I have never seen this guy or his table before. So I walked up, and I started kind of moving some stuff around. And I didn't really see anything that like caught I guess like really caught my eye at first and then I saw Michonne from Walking Dead cool and I was like Michonne from Walking Dead that's kind of cool but surrounding her were two walkers oh. and I was like okay that's cool and then I started to notice that they had this glow in the dark look to them and it was the glow in the dark three pack set what I know and they were all out of box you want to hold these guys yeah they were all out of box, which was fine. It was fine that they were out of box. This is a set we have been looking for for at least over a year. Uh, yeah. I, I asked the guy, I go, so how much for these three Funko Pops? And he goes, 15. And I go, okay, so $15 a piece? And he goes, no, $15 for the set, $5 a piece. And I was like, holy crap, this is a $100 set. But we found it out of box, and I was like, I was totally fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with a couple out of box pops here and there number one number two this set is too cool to just leave sitting on a table right exactly and the fact that it glows in the dark is really cool too yeah but what i did not know about this set was that it has mud all over the character yes i did not know that they were covered in mud i thought that these pops were glowing in the dark and bloody i did not know they had mud on them yeah. but as i started looking at them i was like oh my god there's mud on them are they like custom did something happen to these i didn't know but it turns out they did, they were supposed to be money. Yeah. Um, and I called you frantically. I couldn't believe it because this is a set that we've been looking for. And boom, here now we have them. So yeah. these are amazing. So these pops are actually $95 up for the three, $15 for the set. Crazy. So Heather, upon further inspection, we just actually tried to glow them in the dark for the very first time. The muddy ones aren't glowing in the dark. I don't know what's wrong with that. So maybe there's some sort of error here? Is that maybe. possible? Or maybe they're old and the glow doesn't work very well? I have no idea, but they're I definitely know. muddy and they are the only muddy walkers and Michonne goes with them. So did we get an error or is there an issue with the muddy glow in the dark pops? I don't know. Mm. Apparently they're supposed to glow and she does not. Interesting. I don't know if it's good or bad that they don't go in the dark. Maybe it's, it's a, not is it a bad good. Thing? I like glow pops. <laughs> so at the same table, mm -hmm. I noticed that he had some wacky wobblers. Cool. Now, every once in a while, I'll buy wacky wobblers. Not often. But it's typically at the toy show when I buy them because for some reason, everybody brings their wacky wobblers there. Yeah. So I saw two Marvel wacky wobblers I really, really like. Now, if you guys remember in the past... We actually got a SDCC Red Skull. Yeah, the metallic one. Yes. Um, but when I was there, I found the cartoon comic book variation Ooh. of uh, Red Skull. I love anything Red Skull. Red Skull is like one of my favorite villains. I think he's fantastic. This one looks great. He has the gun in the hand, full green suit here. I happen to love this one, and I wanted this one. So it was weird seeing a saying they're out of the box. So the two Wacky Wobblers I purchased or out of the box. But the other one that I got is one that I've wanted way, way more. Okay, hold this one. The other one I wanted was this Dr. Doom. He's awesome. So same thing as Michonne and Walker's. $5 a piece. Wow. This guy is on PPG for $39. Wow. This guy's on there for $20. Now, 
you can factor in with a box that might be different value and how much they're worth and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like I did really, really good. You did. So $5 a piece, I spent $25 and I got a whole slew of things that we wanted. They are out of the box, but they are things that we wanted. Right. I will have to say my favorite out of everything I picked up, this Dr. Doom. I love this guy. He's really cool. So guys, what do you think about my toy show pickups? I think I did a pretty brilliant job, Heather. I think so too. I know you were excited when I got the Michonne and Pats. Yeah, I was not excited when they didn't glow. <laughs> Big fail. Let us know in the comments below what you think was the best item I picked up at the toy show. Guys, remember to go over to alltimetoys.com. They have every toy need that you're looking for. Marvel Legends, Lego, Hot Toys, you name it, they got it. Go check out alltimetoys.com. Remember, as always, we're on together, yes! We will catch you next time! Bye!